have separate workshops and we approach the work so differently, yet it becomes one piece. It's a happy combination. I see two fiber artists because wood is all fiber, so we're two fibers working together. I really see two pieces of work that fit together like a puzzle. I see harmony. Well, I call myself often a hand worker because I work with my hands. They are my main tools, absolutely. They are what takes what's in my head and makes it real in front of my eyes. But yeah, so it's a traditional Finnish technique. I used to have this nanny in Finland. She did everything still very traditionally. So she would be weaving rag rugs. And we never did any kid stuff. We just did all the chores that she needed to do daily. And she took me along. And um, I think I learned a lot from her just about how you can pretty much do anything with your hands, you know. Oh, I love the drama of the daisies against a stormy sky. It's just got a good feeling to it. Each little strand of fiber has many, many little hooks on it. And uh, when you expose those hooks to heat, the hooks open. And so if you agitate the hooks, they all start to bind together and make a solid fabric. And that's how this whole concept works. These are all my chisels here. For example, here's a, a number 11. It's a gouge. So this is a very severe curvature. It's almost like a half tube there. That's very unique. Yeah, what it is is I can't carve this image or these images or anything until I bring this part down here down to a certain level to put everything else in relief and then it can be carved. I learned this type of carving with these type of chisels from a man in Finland. This Finnish master, wooden master, came by, and so I showed him a guitar I had built, and he really liked what I had done. And he said, well, if you can do that, you should be able to just sort of come in and start carving. We've chose to, like, build and construct our own house the way we like to see things unfold. Not many people have done that. Most of the materials, the beams, the floor, the ceiling, the clay, the straw, the stone, all come from within 10 kilometers of this house. It's a lot, but we've gotten here after 20 years and now it feels good. When we do the work together, he always does the carving first. We usually sort of discuss the idea, the theme, and then he'll create a piece and puts it in a frame for me. And then I look at his work and decide how I can combine with it. There's a real warmth to wood that I like. Woods are so different, so, so many different types of woods out there, the colors, the range. It's like Sana, like she likes the color and the tactile sense of different fibers and that. Well, wood is very similar to it in that way. Carvings are really best when they're actually in a light-colored wood. And a light-colored wood, when the light's on it, allows for shadow. There's the yin and yang to everything, everything in balance. And that's the light and shadow that bring out a carving. When I was young, um, around 16, I guess, I was in a really bad car accident. Stan Rogers, he died in an airplane crash. My dad died six feet from him in that crash. It changed our lives hugely at that point. We had been camping in Tobamori for the weekend. The van that we were in, nobody wearing seatbelts. <laughs> I was sitting on the floor. 
June 3rd, 1983 is when that plane went down. Dallas to uh, Toronto. It was a business trip, you know, it was the middle of the day. The driver fell asleep, jerked the wheel, and then he flipped the van like it went off the road. I always remember that I was downstairs in my room around 8 o'clock at night tuning my drum set up at the time. And what comes up on the TV? Right then on the news, my dad's airplane on the runway burning up. The van is flying. I have no idea where I am, but I was hanging on to something. This voice just said, you have to hang on as tight as you can. It's not your time yet. My brother's take on it is that everything happens for a reason. But uh, why did that happen? relaxing it is here. The pace is nice and slow, and I love that. This is it. This is the straw behind all these walls. Like, this is the clay. In the beginning, we had to put a gate at the end of the driveway because people would just drive up because they wanted to come and see this joke, because I think they had all these three little pig story ideas in their mind. This is how I start every wood curtain. I'm shaving in the sour. I love it. I love it. And then I go jump in the pond after this, and it makes me feel so good. Now that we've been here, I don't think anybody really thinks twice about it. Just another couple trying to have a life. It's just how we choose to live. I always think, oh, it's just great to be alive. Like, I love being alive. Like, life is just so full, it's so interesting. And Sun has been a big part of that. She's been really, really good for me. We work so much together, joined at the hips, in the house, doing her thing. We work together in our artwork. And so the two are good. Like, I'm exciting for her at times. And she brings a lot more sense of calm and balance and thoughtfulness. After that car accident, I realized you really have to do what you love because you're here only once. Thank you.